Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you Premiere Pro's new text tool. Now this text tool is new as of the update 11.1. .1. You can see that right here, I'm running 11.1. .1. So if you're watching this video close to when I uploaded it, go ahead and hit that upgrade button so that you're past or at this version so that you can use the new text tool. The text tool is, sounds simple, but I feel like it's very revolutionary in the way that it going to like affect a lot of Adobe Premiere Pro workflows. It adds so much uh, more ease of use of text because beforehand we had to create titles. And if you wanted to manipulate those titles over time, you had to cut them up and you had to make a bunch of different titles and it got very tedious and tiresome. So let me kind of show you what I mean by that. We have this text tool right here. All you have to do is click on the text tool, go to your, your, your uh, preview up here, and then just drag it out like a text box like you might in Photoshop, Premiere, After Effects. And now you have a text box going. And uh, you can see I've set some settings over here so it's gonna look cool. So I can type like 20 up here. I can type, this is the text tool. And it types it directly on here. I don't have to work with titles. I don't have to do all this other stuff. It adds a graphic layer, which is also something kind of new in Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, but we're not gonna go into graphics. We're just gonna talk about this text. So we have this text going right here and you know, it, right now it's just a little bit easier um, than the title tool was, you know, we don't have to make a title, we can just type it directly on here. But what I find is the best aspect of this update is its ability to animate the text. I feel like that is so important. So for example, if we put a 20 right here, you can go up to this little source text. So we've created the text file. It creates it right above the layer. We click on that, we go to effect controls, and then we have the controls right here. Uh, you'll see text and in parentheses what you've typed in. And so what we have right here is the source text, but the most important part is this stopwatch. So, you know, we can affect all the stuff like the font, the size is right here. We can affect, you know, whatever we want it, bold, italic, stuff like that. Normal stuff you might find in a text tool, um, justifications and all that. But this is the most important part. If we click the stopwatch, now we can animate text. So for example, if we go forward 10 frames and I click on this and I go to 19 instead, we go forward 10 more frames to 20, then we drop this down to 18. So we go forward to 10 more frames, 17, and we'll do one more up to 17 here. And we are going to do that. Now, all I have to do is play it. And you see, I'm animating the text. I can add countdowns. I could add a typing effect where instead of making this numbers, I could, you know, put I right here, um, go to the next one right there and put I H next one. I H A, you know, continuously like this. And then when we play it back, it looks like something's typing out. Before you had to create a bunch of different titles or you had to you know, use some weird workarounds to get a countdown like I was doing before. You had to use a time code signature and adjust it and offset it. And it was a very big pain to do in Premiere. So everyone just went to After Effects to do it. But now with this new text tool, you can bring that all back into Premiere Pro and it works really fast and efficiently. Because like I said, the, the, the title tool, it's great for adding a, like a bunch of different titles. But the problem with it is that a lot of times it got a little laggy and slow because it had to open up an entire new window and it had to load a bunch of stuff. So now we can do it right in here. We can animate it and we can completely control it on the left here. So that is what I feel is the most important part. And that I think is just outstanding for Adobe to add into Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and just finish out this tutorial. Let me just show you the rest of the stuff that you can do over here. Um, so yeah, we have the font here. We got what it is. This is going to center it, um, right center it. This is justification, uh, your tabs, all the stuff you might find in a paragraph or text tool. Down here in appearance, we have three buttons and these are really neat as well. You can do the fill, which is, you know, just classic choose a color and it's going to fill that color into the center. Then we have the stroke um, right here, which you can see is the red outline. Um, this is the size of it over here. You can also choose a color, which is kind of cool. So, you know, if you want it to match a little bit of the scene, you know, you could choose this to be sort of like that and then a green outline and that kind of looks like it's part of the sky. Interesting little thing you could do there. Then we have the shadow here, which I think is really neat. You can actually add a drop shadow right here in Adobe, um, Adobe Premiere Pro. This is the blur on it and this is the distance on it, the angle of the light coming in um, and its opacity overall, which are just all the effects that you need to create a great drop shadow. and. So yeah, now we have this really neat 
text thing, and if you know, we cleaned it up a little bit. This is actually looking really neat because we've chosen colors from the scene. We got a little drop shadow on it. It's looking really neat, and I didn't have to go to After Effects to accomplish it. Last tab we have in here is the Transform tab. You can see in the Transform tab, it's just a normal Transform tab. You got the position, which is going to move it around. You got the scale, which is going to make it bigger or smaller. Um, you got yourself the rotation, which is going to rotate around the anchor point, which is the top left by default. If you want to move that, you can move it over like this. And what it's doing is it's shifting the anchor point from here to here. Really, the only importance of that is it rotates around the anchor point. So if you want it to rotate from the center, you can do some math and kind of get it to the center here. And then when you rotate it, it'll rotate around the center instead of the left edge. But that is about it on the text tool. Like I said, it's a simple tool, but it is really powerful. And all of this stuff in here can also, um, it, the source text and the different transforms can also be animated now, which I think is just really, really important. That is going to be it. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you do not have the tool yet, go ahead and hit that update button so you can get this tool and you can start using these effects in your workflow. Um, really simple. All you got to do is update it and it's all here. Uh, I believe it was really at least about a week ago, so everyone should have access to it if you have an Adobe Creative Crowd, Cloud subscription. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you want to see more Adobe related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of stuff on video editing, kind of focus on Premiere Pro, but I like to jump into different versions or a different software as well. I just find them all very fun. Um, if you have got any questions or comments, those in the comments below. I'll make sure to try to answer your questions and we can talk in the comments uh, about anything. If you got any tutorials, suggestions, or something you want to see, throw those in there too and I would love to help you out. So yeah, that's it. Until uh, next time, guys. See ya.